birthday. You're saying, wait, it's not my birthday. Well, I feel like it because we love a sale and we love a celebration. And we are celebrating that 45th birthday. And I get the rare opportunity to spend time with my friend of what, approaching three decades, the coin king. Is, is our birthday boy, can I call him a birthday boy? I mean, it's HSN's birthday, but Mike Mizak, the king of coins for two hours in prime time. So, Mikhail, are you there? There he is, looking a lot smarter than me because this is, this is my favorite show that our, our, our teams do, Mike, and you wanna know why? Because I let you do all the talking. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. Right, they love it that, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, King of Coins, I heard about your bouillon. Now, I was using bouillon in the kitchen because I was cooking before this show, but this ain't that kind of bouillon. And what in the world is going on with the price of silver, my friend? What's up with this? Yeah, this is something we had this morning. We had this about uh, six weeks ago, I think, was the last time I was able to get any of these. We sold a half a ton in one day. Oh, wow. A, oh. Of silver, a, a thousand pounds of silver, literally oh in one day. I don't quite have that much gosh. here. We've only got about half of that, only about 500 pounds. We sold about 100, 150 pounds this morning at 1 a.m. It's 500 grams of pure silver. It's a half kilo pure silver bar. And I mean, you know, here's the deal. We have them. Okay. <laughs> and but, well, of course you have them. Yeah, and understand. Airports. Physical silver is hard to get. Physical silver, almost impossible to get. Now that's the little bar. Okay, should, should I switch it out? Okay. Should I put that's the big the guy half, in? That's the half kilo. We have okay. the full kilo. There you go. Oh! I mean, <laughs> that is when you. T that's an intrinsic feel. Yeah, you can actually use that. There, uh, over <laughs> two pounds pure silver to, in that. The full Gosh. kilo bar that we have there. That's a minted bar, so it has that uh, uh, thing. With the hologram, with the oh, assay certificate and everything wow. else, it's IRA eligible. It's IRA eligible. I've only got 75 of the kilos. 75 of the kilos. We already sold 35 of them. Holy and smell. I only have 80 of the half kilos. Oh, Mike. Okay. Do you know? That's all we have. We're, we're, I think we're going to we're supposed to do them maybe in the second hour. But they may not last till then. No. You know what's so interesting? Because again, you and I have known each other basically for three decades. I honestly, Mike, have I ever aired bouillon bars with you? I don't think I have. Not like this. And, and there's two things like that. So, and, and, and I know if we have just a minute here. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. always ask, me, what's the best way to own silver? And I've always, for 25 years, said American silver eagles, just like sure. this. Okay. It's the best way. It's got the numismatic value. Here's the problem. Physical silver and American Silver Eagles are in such short supply, the premium to get an American Silver Eagle right now is greater than the cost of the silver it contains. Oh my Lord. It is currently not the best way to buy silver. I've never answered that way in over a quarter of a century. That is the case. The best way to do it is bars. Now then I had to go find bars. If you notice, these are IGR. That's the Istanbul Gold Reserve. Oh. I literally had to go halfway around the world, literally to Istanbul, Turkey. Oh my Lord. To get these bars, because there was none in the United States that I could get at the right price. We had to literally go to Turkey and import these halfway around the world to be able to get these bars, Insane. to be able to give it. Each one has its own hologram, each one individually serial numbered, each one with a certificate of authenticity at the lowest per ounce price against the spot price of silver that we have ever done in the history. All the years, quarter century I've been here, it's been absolutely amazing when I can get them. I bought every bar they had, and it ended up being about 500 pounds and we're a third, a uh, quarter oh, yeah. to a third sold out. And we debuted at 2 a.m. this morning. Uh, uh, okay, do, do you know what? People are already starting to call. You might have oh, yeah. to get on your computer and figure out a black backup plan for next hour. I'm serious about that, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Well, Mr. Well, King of Coins. You better get a backup plan. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get, we'll try <laughs> to keep the silver in. We'll see how it, we'll see how it goes.
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I got my phone here. I'm literally waiting for an email to see if I can get another 25 bar. I'm sure uh, you will. 25 of the kilos. Uh, I, you know, I know it's late, but I mean, you know. Listen. The, 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 the uh, silver business never closes. I was going to say commerce and coins sleep for no man or, or for no right. woman. All right. Well, we are going to get things started. Of course, we just celebrated the 4th of July. It's HSN's birthday. Uh, certainly, if you were watching the fireworks on television like I was, uh, the Macy's one from, from New York. I mean, we I think we think of Lady Liberty, certainly when we think of the 4th of July. But, Mike, the big thing for me about this is, and I know you debuted this with Michelle a little bit earlier today. First of all, I love the representation. Presentation. I mean, that's, I, I, I'm just kind of flummoxed and flabbergasted. That's a coin. I don't even know how they would, would kind of die or how they would even do this. But this is, it, it's not like a commemorative or a medallion or it, it is a coin. Am I saying that right? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's yeah, a coin, Yeah, it's right? an actual coin. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's truly spectacular. Made by our good friends at Pomp Suisse. Uh, uh, that, that we're going to, by the way, I was going to do, try to do Palm Suisse, uh, kilo silver bars. They're sold out for the year. Thank oh, you very wow. much. Uh, but they was able to get these. Now it's a two ounce silver coin. Normally these specialized coins are one ounce coins. Okay. They're normally about one ounce coins, but the statue of Liberty can't be contained on a one ounce silver coin. So they had to do two full ounces. They had to do the custom packaging that you see here. And the great thing about Palm Suisse, what they do is their quality is absolutely positively unrivaled and unmatched. And so when you get in there and you see the statue of Liberty, it is absolutely stunning. Now we get in really close on the front of that and kind of look into the design of her gown, yeah. you'll see at the top there a familiar face. That's George Washington right under the clasp on her shoulder. You go down just a, bit, a little bit to the left, and there's Abraham Lincoln. And then you've got Harriet Tubman. And then you've got Sacagawea. And then you've got Booker T. Washington. Then all the way far down, furthest down to the left is going to be Susan B. Anthony, famous American, uh, both men and women, absolutely uh, uh, positively uh, incredible. And then on the right, that is the famous uh, 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 Emily Lazarus poem. Uh, what is it? Colossus Unbound, I think is what it's called. It's, it's the big poem that's at the base of the Statue of Liberty on the pedestal yeah. of the Statue of, of, of Liberty. And so it's, it's, it's America as an emerging colossus is what this was written. And, and that's where the the, the words come from, give us your tired, your poor, your hunger, your need to breathe free. And, and, and that's out of that. And that's on the statue. Of so everything all put together, two ounces of pure silver. And of course, they're just absolutely stunningly beautiful. You see the, the packaging that it comes in. The other thing that I like and that is, is really cool to uh, Pomp Suisse and the fact that I think there's 4,000 only in the limited edition here. We go to the reverse so with the writing on it. Right. Go to the torch. Okay. If you'll notice, there's a little number up there. Yeah, I saw that. The new Colossus, that's what it is, thank you. Oh. And if we look up there, 1201, Okay. that's the serial number. Oh, all right. Each coin is individually serial numbered at 12. This one happens to be 1201. If you turn over the coin next to it, okay. it'll probably be 1202, or I don't know what it would be, but it'll be a... It'll, it'll be a different serial number. Each one is in the yeah, 1202. Okay. Each one is individually serial numbered to ensure its place within the limited edition. So that is truly spectacular. Nice. It's a $5 face value. So that's what makes it a coin. It has been monetized. And that's a great look right there, Shannon, to show the thickness of this. Yeah, this is that. not some little thing that you Ooh. have to be worried about bending or breaking. I mean, this is a massive piece, massive piece of silver is uh, is what you're looking at here. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's a limited edition. Of course, it was sold out absolutely immediately on release. We saved some just for this show today. Well, and I, well, and I say save some. Hey, Jared, is it true? We've only got about like 200 of these. Am I looking at? Okay, so 200 only, and especially if you look for the specialty or the unique designs that Mike brings to us when he can, certainly take advantage of this. And and just kind of a, a few precursory statements about shopping, especially with Coin Collector here at HSN. This is not what happens in the real world. Meaning, yes, you get a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, but you also, well, on in many cases. 
cases, not on all, but in many, and I would say most cases, you even get flex pays on coin collectibles, which is really, <laughs> that I, in fact, I don't even know if anybody does that in the world of coins. But regardless, you're looking at $73.32. Uh, that is your first interest-free payment to get this at home. By the way, we didn't even talk a lot about it, but Mike, I like that box too. I, I know it's not the reason you're buying this, but it's, it's kind of cool to have well, the whole deal, isn't it? It's part of the reason that you buy it, certainly. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's so beautiful. You want to display it. You want to have it available. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to, you, you can't just throw it in a drawer. Uh, I mean, you know, you really want to be able to uh, to present it, to display it. You got to be proud of it, obviously. Yeah, I mean, true. look at that. I mean, it's the Statue of Liberty with the American flag on it. Absolutely, positively uh, uh, stunning. And That's so stunning. you've got that. I love that. Another thing you were talking about, like our flex pay and everything else, something yeah. that ever, uh, is very uncommon in the coin industry. And I know it's here. It's just standard operating procedure. When you use a credit card, there's no additional fee. Oh, Almost true. always when you buy bullion or coins or anything else, there's a three to five percent surcharge for using a credit card almost anywhere Good point. so that uh we don't do that here either so we make it the, it's the easiest way to collect coins period it, it is all right we're going to move along and actually i saw you uh talk about the 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 women coin series in in a different configuration that might even be coming up in the show with michelle earlier today but there, there there's lots of ground to cover here and i, I guess maybe should we start with the American Women Quarter Series and what this represents in addition to that great price of $79.95? Yeah, uh, so the United States government did, does a, a decided to do a series. Of course, it requires a, an act of Congress, which they passed, uh, uh, that they did this to honor 20 American women, five per year for four years. This is the first year of the series. This is the third coin in the series. So they're, they're, they're doing these coins. Now, this has been... These, these women, women uh, making history quarters have been absolutely affected by the shortage of coins and coin production by the United States Mint as much as any modern American uh, uh, coin. And here's the reason. They did a special three-roll set, a Philadelphia roll, a Denver roll, and a San Francisco uncirculated roll. And that three-roll set Okay, was supposed to be the hallmark of this. The problem is they're only making about 7,500 of those. It is the only way to get this S-minted uncirculated coin. What that makes this, with 40 coins in a roll, means there's only 300,000 of these. This is the rarest quarter put out by the United States government in over 100 years. In over 100 years years. And so these S-minute coins, it started with the Maya Angelou, which was the first coin, and then it continued on with the Sally Ride. We're going to give you an opportunity at those here pretty quickly, uh, right after this. And then this is the third coin, Wilma Mankiller, who was the first principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. Uh, uh, so, I mean, very historic in that, uh, in that respect. The other thing with this is Min State 67. So this grade is incredibly high. So we had a Min State 68, they're $599. And only in the Maya Angelus, we had a couple of Min State 69s. We sold those out here at $7,000 a coin. Same coin as this. Understand, you have to go back to 1920, uh, uh, what is that, 1921, I think, to get a coin as rare as this coin that you're going to have in the American Quarter Series. And so that is absolutely, positively incredible. So the rarest quarter in 100 years in an absolutely stunningly high grade. Now, you'll notice that the obverse of the coin is changed as well. They have changed the obverse design of the quarter for the very first time since 1932. The designer of that coin is Laura Garden Frazier. That was the design that was originally picked by the United States Mint. But at the last minute, they changed to the John Flanagan design that we're familiar with, you know, Washington with kind of the curly hair, uh, Washington that was from 1935 or 1932 to 2021. So this year, they're changing the obverse of it as well. So you have uh, so you have that within that. Then you have the rarity of this coin. You have the high grade of this coin. And we've just got these in stock. This will probably be the only time that we will make these available in Mint State 67, basically the highest affordable grade. There's no Mint State 69s in this coin. 
The Mint State 68s are $599. I think I have four or five of them. But in Mint State 67, it's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly affordable. Absolutely. Again, there's that flex pay. Those are interest repayments. And I, I know that was an excellent point that Mike made that a, a lot of times I forget to make simply because we do get spoiled and we get used to it. But there is not a singular upcharge for the advantage of using your credit card. And by the way, that also applies to PayPal or Apple Pay or even your major debit card. Uh, Mike, I got to tell you, this is another one. There aren't a lot of these to go around, roughly a thousand, give or take. I forgot to ask uh, before our show, it's rare that we get to see you in primetime, especially a, a 9 to, to 11 o'clock hour. Do you have any other primetime shows scheduled for the July birthday month, or will this be no. it? No, oh, this, this is it. it. This is the only show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only show the entire month. As a matter of fact, I don't have another show for over a month. Oh, wow. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's like about six weeks for our next coin show. So this is it for okay. us. Uh, uh, and that's why, and this is, and in terms of that quantity, like I said, we have about a thousand. We graded, I think it was, what we grade? We graded, we were able to get about 20,000 coins roughly. And we were, and, and the Mint State 67 is about a thousand of them graded Mint State wow. 67. Hey, Absolutely. Hey, Mike, I, I got a question Incredible. for you. Um, is, your, yeah. is your phone on silent? And you, you want to know why I'm asking? Yeah. You're gonna yeah, why is that? You're gonna get a text. You're gonna get an email. People are buying the bullion. People are buying the bullion. You might want to wait. I'm yeah. waiting for it. Okay, I got, I'll wait for it right here. I promise you. See, I know, I, uh, I, I know I'm making light of that because people are like, you know, she's selling coins. She's supposed to be serious and all, right? Um, well, yeah, we try not to be too serious. We, exactly. I mean, look, it's a serious business, but still, you yeah. got to have fun with it. I mean, we've known each other a long time, and, and it, you know, all levity aside, if you are serious about that that bullion and serious collectors, I, that's why I think you get a lot of really smart. I mean, there's Mike's customer, even if you're new, you're smart. I mean, certainly, I think in a world that has been right. filled with a lot of chaos, uh, you know, if you're going to collect anything as, as Mike is wont to say why not collect money um, but now we are continuing to our, our discussion about the American Women Quarter Series and and actually how long has the Sally Ride coin been out it's, it's been out for a little bit hasn't uh, it's it? been out about uh, two and a half months right now okay. about two and a half months I bet pretty so we're limited, down to our though. final yeah, very low. Well, the same limitation as these. Okay. Every one of these estimated uncirculated quarters are literally tied for the rarest quarter of the last 100 years. Wow. There's rarity at, a, at a, a thing that we've not seen in any modern issue American coins. We've had to go in, <clears throat> so to put this into perspective, the three rolls set from the government, the issue price was $56. I currently pay about $250 for a three roll set. Ooh, wow. So it's a, almost a 500% increase, and that was overnight. And that's if you can find them. The rarity of these is unprecedented in modern American numismatics and the estimate uncirculated. They are literally going to be rarer, more desirable, and more highly sought after than even the proof coins. It's going to be one of the rarest mint state coins ever done by the United States Mint. So here I have a few of the Sally Ride quarters as well. Just going to do a couple minutes here at best. Going to do uh, 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 another bit here at best, $79.95, $79.95. Same price for the Sally Ride. Now, here's the problem. We're also coming down to final quantities on the Sally Ride. Oh, yeah. You'll see why that's important when we're going to give you the opportunity for the Maya Angelou coming up here, okay, in Mint State 67 uh, uh, that, that is out there. And the reason for that is there's the, uh, there's the Sally Ride. We already had to increase the price on the Maya Angelus in Mint State 67. They just get rarer and rarer and harder and harder. They only made 7,500 rolls. 300,000 coins. People say, well, that sounds like a lot. Regular Mint State coins at 300,000 coins, <clears throat> the normal Mint State mintage of a quarter is about 1.8 billion. Okay. Okay. It's about 1.8 billion. So this is literally thousands of times rarer, thousands wow. of times rarer than a regular uncirculated quarter. Literally, it is the rarest of any uns regular issue uncirculated coin put out by the United States Mint in 100 years. Not just the quarters, pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, halves, it doesn't matter. Nothing in regular issue coinage even comes close to the rarity of this. Like I said, now here's the Maya Angelou in Mint State 67, already at $99.95, already at $99.95. So that's really important for you to, uh, uh, so those are the first three in the set. Now, normally I would order the uh, off of these in, a, in an auto ship, right? 
but I can't guarantee that any of the future quarters are going to be Mint State 67. Oh, sure. Now, I only have 200 of the Maya Angelus left in the entire, basically the entire edition that I'm able to come up with here in terms of Mint State 67s. We've actually gone and graded some Mint State 66s. Okay. And if you go to hsn.com, you can get like a PDNS Mint State 66 for, I think, $99. One grade lower, you get the, also the Philadelphia and Denver. But it's the S Mint that's the key. The S Mint uncirculated, the S Mint Mint State coin is like i said tr you know kind of gets to a rarity level that has been unmatched in any ma modern american numismatica in the last half century uh, or, or even longer with that so most people will never none of these were made for circulation the s mint uncirculated will never be in circulation they're only available in these specialized roles which have sold out absolutely positively instantaneously instantaneously uh, sold out from the united states mint and actually with their uh, uh, enrollment program Program is sold out for the all 20 coins. All 20 coins are already sold out in the PDS. Oh, wow. Rolls. I mean, uh, it, it's so basically you have the entire uh, edition spoken for for the next four years. So I get that, and this was the very first coin in the series. The Sally Ride was the second coin. William Mankiller is the third coin. I think great opportunity for you to pick this up right now. Well, and I, I mean, historically speaking, it makes sense to look at the whole set or series of these, which we're going to talk about in, in just a moment in a little slightly different way. But if you are um, collecting the women's series specifically, this was, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, Maya Angelou was the first one to be released. Is it, was it, was correct. The, okay, that was the first Maya one. Maya Angelou was first, yes. Okay. That's why her price is higher. We sold out of all the original issue 79s. Then when I had to go into the marketplace, I'm paying, you know, $300 for a three-roll set right now for Maya oh, Angelou. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I, you know, so the price continued, because they're not making any more, 7,500 7, rolls. That's all there is of these estimated coins. There's 150 million American collectors. 149,700,000 of them cannot own this coin at any price. So, let me say that again. There's 150 million state quarter collectors, quarter collectors. 300,000 of these coins exist. If there was a state quarter, <laughs> mint state quarter with a mintage of only 300,000, it would be a two or three or four or $5,000 coin in this condition, because it just wouldn't even, I, 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 the rarest one I think was, uh, what was the rarest? Hawaii's are, I mean, in this condition are about $59 and I think they made 167 million. That's like the rarest one. Oh my this word. is 300,000. Rarity in an unprecedented set. Now, okay, yes, okay, so I'm now, really excited about that. All right, see, because you know I'm going to defer to you right away on this one. I just want to double check on quantity. Okay, so, and I'm assuming the quantity that I see with only a few hundred available are the quantity that we will That's have, Mike? It. That's okay. it, it, yeah. Okay. This is the entire proof set made by the United States government in silver. So the quarters, the half dollar, and the dime are all not just solid silver, but pure silver. Oh, wow. They start, that's why we put the silver bars on the label, which is my label exclusively, by the way, okay? So this you can see right here is the pure silver complete set. Now I wanna start with the Women Making History quarter set down there at the bottom. Right. It's the five coin silver set. First year of issue, all the coins are in there. So there's Maya Angelou. You go across right there to Sally Ride. Then you have Wilma Mankiller. Then you have Nino Terra Warren. Uh, next, who was the first uh, superintendent of the San Francisco or the Santa Fe School District in New Mexico, and then Anna Mae Wong, fabulous story, uh, the first kind of famous Asian American uh, female uh, film actress in the United States, and so uh, uh, that's spectacular. But the thing that I really love about this is look at the signature on this. How's this going to Elizabeth Jones was the 11th chief engraver of the United States Mint. Wow. The first and only female chief. Now, that's the 11th chief, chief engraver since 1792. Whew. They don't turn over the chief engravers very often, okay? So, I mean, we've had 40, 45, 46 presidents since then, right? So, I mean, you know, uh, we've had 12 chief engravers. And so... She's individually signed each one of those coins. So you can find these silver quarter sets, that five coin quarter set by itself at $599 right there. 
that's a spectacular price in the pure silver with the signature and you have all that other stuff. But it's the complete 10 coin set. If I may, may I, may you focus on that coin right there, that Kennedy half dollar. Okay. The pure silver Kennedy half dollar, ultra cameo, proof 70. Folks, that's a hundred to 150 to almost $200 coin, somewhere in there, 125 to 200 in proof 70 ultra cameo. I, I love the women making history. I love the Elizabeth Jones sign. That's the key coin in the entire in the entire series right there. That's the key coin in the entire set that you're going to have right there. I don't even have any individual coins. They only come in the sets. It also happened to be the coin that graded the worst. So I only have it in sets. I only have it in sets. So we have the pure silver Kennedy half dollar only available in the silver uh, proof set that you have right there. Then you go next door, you get the Sacagawea golden dollar. Remember, okay, Eli Parker is, is what this is right there. As you can see, the Seneca Indian general that you have right there. And so that is spectacular. Remember, that changes every year. So that's a one-year only design that you're going to have with that. That's a $79 or $89 coin. Then you go right next door down to the dime with that and the dime is again pure silver so that makes that 59 69 79 dollars just for the silver dime by itself then you go next door to that the nickel is probably the easiest one again that's probably a 39 dollar coin somewhere around those those range but then you get to the penny another hundred dollar coin at minimum hundred dollar coin when it's proof 70 when it's perfect when it comes out of the silver proof set i know it's not silver but it's really critical that you understand that this is so at the end of the day here's what this comes down to 59.99 a coin 59 dollars and 95 cents a coin if you fully value the kennedy half dollar in here you're really at about $39.95 a coin. If you fully value the, uh, the penny, you know, you're down to $29.95 a coin. You fully value all of it, you're, you're looking at, uh, you know, coin by coin, piece by piece, set by set. You're looking at somewhere in the $1,000 value. Now, that's in, in, in a regular holder. Understand Elizabeth Jones that you have right there, the Elizabeth Jones sign uh, uh, with that is an exclusive holder. When you have uh, uh, the top that you have there with my silver bar, the silver bar component up there, that's exclusive to my company as well. So you have exclusivity of presentation. You've got incredible rarity given the fact that it's a solid silver, pure silver set. The United States government only started making pure silver Kennedy half dollars in 2019 pure silver dimes, pure silver quarters. And then it's the first year of the women making history quarter set with each one of those quarters. That's not a facsimile signature, individually signed, oh, wow. individually signed by Elizabeth Jones, the first uh, female chief engraver of the United States Mint. Boy, that's pretty impressive. And Mike, I know you were talking about that coin by coin of like $59 and change. Well, not if you are one of our VIP crowd, uh, credit card holders. So if you have an HSN card, a Q card, a Zulily card, there's actually 12 month VIP financing on this, which we almost never ever do that. So if you use your Zulily, your HSN card, your Q card, you could actually make this into 12 interest free payments coming in at $49.99. And for anyone out there, I always say this and, and uh, Mike, you've called me on it, which I, I think was funny. I, I worked with Andrew Lessman a couple of weeks ago. And no, I did not say to Andrew Lessman that he was the Mike Mizak of vitamins. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> someday that will be known as my last. I don't think he would appreciate it as much as I do. <laughs> exactly. But I, I, I make that analogy every time we work together because I, I do think the information and the education that you provide it, just much like Andrew with vitamins when you watch him uh, here at HSN, I do think it's an important part of what we're talking about, where it's not the Wild West of coin collecting, where Mike does go coin by coin, and here's why this is different, here's why this is special, here's why this is unique, and remember, unconditional 30-day return policy as well. Mike, I, I am kind of curious, I mean, the women in history coins, you could have done it for this price, why did you include the other ones? I'm serious about that, I mean that as well, a valid question. Well, because this is the set. 
Oh, because this is, the, okay. this is the 10 coin set. So okay. there's people who complete who collect the sets by completeness. So the proof set put out by the United States government this year is a 10 coin set. Right. So the silver proof set. So this is a complete silver proof set from the United States government. So a lot of people like the completeness. And I don't do many of these. Yeah. Uh, you know, look, and if all honesty, truth be told, I'd rather pull out the Kennedy half dollar and sell them at $200 a piece all day long, which I could, you know, not certify the other ones because the certification alone is going to cost you about $350 if you were to certify these. Then you got to buy the set, and I think the set's about $150 bucks uncertified, ungraded. Then So you're $500, $550, and then I don't know. Do you know Elizabeth Jones? Can you get her to sign all those for you? <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, you know. Friends and, and, that and, and, like and, and, me wouldn't sign that many things. <laughs> I'm serious. And so that's my point. That's, that's <laughs> the whole point of this, is that it is the complete set, and I think that's a great question because people say, why do they go together? Because is is the 10 coin 2022 okay. proof set put out from the United States government. So this is all the denominations, the penny, the nickel, the dime, the quarters, the half dollar and the dollar. And so when that proof set comes out and then the silver proof set is much rarer, much more desirable. And particularly when you get to that Kennedy half dollar, like I said, I would sell that single Kennedy half dollar for $200 all day long. And I'd sell every single solitary oh, yeah. one that, w that I had available that was extra. Unfortunately, it grades the worst of all the coins. So I need every single one of them for the sets. So well, the only way I have the Kennedys right now is in the complete sets. Okay, so that's the only way to get that Kennedy. And remember, very, very limited as per always. No back order, no wait list. Whenever you see something that Mike brings to us, although I, I am pretty sure he's gonna get a phone call <laughs> or an email. Mike, okay, just under 30% of the quantity that you had left on the bullion have sold before we got here. So just a skosh, a scintilla, a driblet, uh, under 30% of, of the quantity that we had. Or, okay, actually, basically, almost 30% have already pre-sold. Mike, give them a couple of bullet points for, for our discerning collectors out there so that they can get it, because I, I expect this to actually sell out early. Uh, I have it, and you can too if you call in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I would look, never I say that you were a man of few words, but I might have to rethink that. <laughs> look, it, 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 I know it seems a little glib, but at the end of the day, in the in the world today, to have to actually have physical silver is is it's very difficult to get. Yeah. And I actually have the physical silver to be able to sell these, <clears throat> to be able to have these, and so that's the big deal. Like I said, I'd love to sell. Uh, the Pam Suisse Kilo Bars, okay? <clears throat> I've loved to have the Pam Suisse Kilo Bar. The fact of the matter is, they're sold out for the year. I, I had to go literally to Turkey. See the Istanbul Gold Refinery? Wow. I literally oh, yeah. had to go halfway around the world to get these bars to be able to sell them to you. Understand, you know what, it, you've heard of supply chain issues? Try to get solid silver, a truckload <laughs> of silver uh, into the United States from Turkey. I'll tell you what, you know, I got a team on that. Uh, has the hologram with the certificate, with the assay, they're IRA eligible uh, that you're gonna have with that. A thousand grams over two pounds of pure silver at the lowest per, uh, at the lowest per, um, uh, uh, ounce price to the price of silver that I've ever been able to do here at uh, at HSN. Understand for years and years, uh, people always ask me, what's the best way to own silver? And for 25 plus years, I've said American Silver Eagles. You I mean, because you have the numismatic component, you got the silver component. Here's the problem. The United States government is so far behind in making silver eagles that they're hopelessly behind. They have no physical silver. Physical silver doesn't exist in the marketplace. By that, I mean silver you can hold as opposed to paper silver right. that you buy on the stock market or whatever. Uh, that's, I don't know what that is. Uh, that's air silver, we'll call it. But it's gotten to the point where the premium to get an American Silver Eagle right now at retail is greater than the price of the silver it contains. Let me say that again. The price for a silver eagle with the premium, the premium is more than the silver. That has never happened before. It's never been even close to that. Wow. So basically this big bar here, actually let's do this. This bar right here, this half, this half kilo bar is about that many silver eagles. So that's about equal to that, okay, is what it comes down to. Now, if I were to sell you these right here at current pricing, 
that's about $850 instead of $599. That's why this is a better oh, value right now. Yes, okay, I Okay, gotcha. that's what I'm saying. You have to pay so much more per ounce because of sure. the premium beyond the price of silver that you have to pay for American Silver wow. Eagles. Don't do that. Okay, that's so that's what I'm saying. That's the, Mike, you know, I have so, it in with a call. You can get it too. Well, 50 people can. Uh, and actually, that number is dwindling as we speak. Just in that, that um, refresher for us that Mike was doing, we sold several of those. Uh, well, unfortunately, I've got a turtle like, uh, on tonight, or I'd, I'd show you what you could have too. <laughs> and that means a younger looking neck. So I could. Gee, should I make. Jared, should I make a guess at who's coming up, or should I just talk about the neck? Okay. Well, look at the pictures. How old is that model that is used after one week and one week only? Which neck would you rather have? I'll leave it open to you there. Which neck would you rather have? Now, I'm not quite sure which item in her repertoire she has. I'm talking about the world's leading neck spurt. I wonder if that goes on her business card. I'm the world's leading neck spurt. <laughs> well, she's gonna be coming up at 12 midnight. Who's launching that? Is that Bobby with Miss Kathy? I'm just gonna tell him Kathy. Okay, so uh, anyway, we're gonna keep scooting along. And if you are channel surfing, welcome into HSN. It's actually our 45th birthday here. It was America's birthday, um, actually, of course, yesterday. And I have actually known Mike Mizak for going, we're actually close to three decades. I, I knew him from, elsewhere and beyond. He's been here for over 25 years. I've been here for over 25 years. And these are things that you just don't find here, there, or anywhere. And we're gonna move along with the pride of two nations. Um, one thing I will tell you about this, and Mike, then I'm gonna turn you loose. Jared, is it true we only have like 100 of these, give or take? This is one that's like, okay, last 100. So Mike, I'm turning you well, loose, my friend. First, last, new 100. This is a show find. Okay, we've been finally coin show started again. Okay, finally coin show started again. You know, uh, during the course of the, the COVID era, there was no coin shows for almost two years. So it became very difficult to find coins. So we went to a coin show and there's a guy that had some of these pride of two nation sets. It's absolutely amazing that they, I, I, they almost forgot about these. I only have a hundred of these to go around. The United States Mint in 2019 did this great collaboration, this is just pre-COVID, with the Canadian government, where they both made a coin and put it together and they sold the set. Both the Canadian Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, and the United States Mint sold the sets. They made 110 or 100,000 sets. They made 100,000 sets. They did a special enhanced, uh, uh, enhanced relief enhanced reverse proof that you've got on that and that they've only done i think twice or three times in the history of the u.s mint they did the same thing with the canadian maple leaf you get both of these coins i have not sold these in oh goodness actually the mintage on this was i guess seventy five thousand, i think and so i have not to see have enhanced reverse proof so they've done reverse proof they've done enhanced it's the first time they've done enhanced reverse proof so you had the silver eagle you had the Canadian, and these sold out instantaneously in 2019. I haven't sold these in years, literally years. Look at the packaging that this comes with. You go down and see that packaging, absolutely stunning and beautiful, uh, uh, that we'll uh, oh, yeah. uh, include with that so as nice. well. So that was the original packaging pre-certification. Because it was enhanced reverse proof, it did not grade very well. See, United States Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, Pride of Two Nations, the limited edition coin set the United States government has never done, has never done a collaboration with another mint before. Uh, it's the very first and only time. They haven't done anything subsequently to this. And they were both sold by the United States Mint and the Royal Canadian Mint. And if you look at that uh, maple leaf right there, of course, just as rare, just as desirable, and just as collect collectible, and that packaging does come with it, by the way. Uh, if you want to get in, I want to get in on the maple leaf real quick, on the obverse of the maple leaf. And if we can get it real close on that. That's nice. If you'll notice, you see all the little dots around the coin. That's a counterfeit detecting uh, oh. device with the maple leaves. They're tiny little maple leaves. Oh, 
Okay. That's so They're cool. They're tiny little itty bitty maple leaves. Isn't that spectacular? <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, I see them. Yeah, now. isn't oh, that great? Cool. So you have stars. They put the stars in for the United States. Okay. Oh. And then the maple leaves. So they did that as a collaboration. Isn't that spectacular? That's really neat. Uh, isn't that really neat that they do that 9999 pure silver that you're going to have with that one ounce? And, of course, uh, it's Canadian, so you have to have it in French as well, argent, for the silver. And so that's the obverse of both of the coins. And then when you go up to the top, you'll see the reverse of both of the coins. The United States government, like I said, a very, very, very uh, 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 thing with this. I, and I did. I, I finally got this. Yeah. And so you put that up there and with the reverse, uh, the enhanced reserve, reverse proof. So now we've seen reverse proof coins. We've seen enhanced uncirculated coins. Never seen the enhanced reverse proof. It was basically brought out just for this. And it's such an exclusive design. The Royal Canadian Mint literally can't even do it. Okay, they literally can't even do it. They did a modified proof is what they did uh, on it. The United States Mint doing the enhanced reverse proof. It's basically the only enhanced reverse proof that the United States Mint has ever been able to do. Now, here's the issue. This was a show find. So this coin's been, this set's been sold out for three years now, three and a half years. It's been sold out. I was able to get enough sets where I could do 100 perfect pairs because these are certified absolutely positively perfect 70. Uh, uh, enhanced reverse proof 70, modified proof 70. You get the pair, you get the packaging just like it was put together. I have only 100 of these. It is the only primetime presentation you're going to see of this this month, next month, or the month after is ultimately what it comes down to. You see where it says modified proof on the on the Royal from the Royal Canadian Mint. Very, very important for you to understand uh, that opportunity as well. Well, and, and Mike, you kind of nailed it. I mean, it, only opportunity is, is the optimum phrase here because it's the this is the only primetime show for Mike for the rest of birthday month. And one quick thing when we talk about that quantity, uh, this being a show fine, meaning it, it was opportunistic. He was at their show, they were able to get their hands on about 100 of these. That also helps illustrate the point that unlike, well, I think almost really every other category that we have here at HSN, when we say no back order, no wait list, this is not the kind of thing it's like, oh, go on wait list. I mean, we, so when, when you hear those finite quantities, it is something for you to just definitely to take advantage of or at least make note of. That applies to the bullion that basically a third of the quantity I've already spoken for before we got there or whether it is this. And Mike, I think one of the things that you do that just uniquely and so well is the diversity in the collecting that he has to offer for you. So we are doing last call. When you hear that music, that's uh, your cue and my cue that we ain't got a lot of these. So we are gonna move along. Um, actually, because we've had such a, a striking interest in that bouillon, I know you've been seeing uh, refreshers and reminders. We're actually going to do that a little bit earlier in the show just because we are poised at the precipice of sellout uh, so close to that on both of the choices. So you may want to pre-order. In the meantime though, we don't want you to miss a minute of our 45th birthday. So you can get Appy by downloading the HSN app from the Apple Store or Google Play. And you can be first to check out the week's today's specials, weekly deal drops, big birthday offers, coupons, and month-long deals. And you can shop new brands and product launches. Plus you get sneak peek at who's on our birthday guest, uh, guest list. And you can unwrap extra special birthday surprises and more all happening. Check back each week. I'm gonna have to look at my app. I've had that app for a while. I'm gonna have to see what's going on there. Uh, anyway, you can see what's going on in the world of coin collecting. We've got some goodies that Mike saved just for us. Only prime time show of the birthday. Stay tuned. Never run out of the things you love with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries and easily customize your shipping preferences. Plus, AutoShip locks in your order price while enrolled. It's the smartest way to get more of a good thing. Search AutoShip on HSN.com. We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect the price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. You asked, we've got you. Get an insider's look at the week's best in birthday in the HSN app. 
You'll see all the week's today's specials, weekly deal drops, and a sneak peek at who's who on our guest list. See our new brand and product launches, upcoming coupons, and the weekly promotions we have in store for you all in one place. Download the HSN app now and search Happy Birthday in the app to get started. And don't forget to check what's happening each week throughout birthday month. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. call for something new. Unwrap new favorites all month long. All right, well, happy Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday. Oh, what the heck. It's Tuesday night, and it is also our birthday month, and it is the only primetime coin collector show for our resident numismatists. It's just a lot easier to say the king of coins. Mike Mizak is back and along with us. Uh, Mike, you got lots of goodies that you have saved for us tonight. Now, this is going to be like a 90-second special because I see... <clears throat> The wall of coins. Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 90 First seconds here up. forever. So anyway, I got to get to this real quickly. I've, I've talked about this the entire uh, time we've been here, about how difficult American silver eagles are, just in general. But I want to go back to last year, 2021. They changed the design of the American Silver Eagle for the very first time in the history of the United States Mint. So this is, in 2021, is the first year of the new issue. The United States Mint, to commemorate that, did several things. But one of the first things, the most important things that they did, is they did a special limited edition of the very first coins that came off the, uh, uh, the Mint, the literal first day of production. On the very first day of minting, they made 38 boxes, th and they numbered those boxes. This is one of those coins from those first 38 boxes. This is one of those coins that absolutely, positively came from the very first day of production. You've seen first day of issue. That means they came from the first day that they were put out into the marketplace, because we've never been able to ascertain if they were first day of, of production. For the first time, the United States Mint has said this was the, the first day was 38 boxes and these coins were those coins. I want to tell you just how important this coin is. If they did that on the 1986 American Silver Eagle, the first year of the old design, I only have 270 of these to go around. If they did that in 1986 and we could sell you what was literally known to be the first day of production of the first year of the American Silver Eagle from 1986, mintage, total mintage about the same. From the first day of production, that would be a five to ten to fifteen thousand dollar coin at the very least, because that was 35 years ago. We are one year after this. That's why it's only two hundred and ninety nine dollars. I really must impress upon you how critically important this is from a historic numismatic standpoint to take advantage of this opportunity. I was very reticent when I was able to get these coins in my exclusive flag core as well. First day of not issue, first day of production from guaranteed, as, as designated by the United States Mint, the very first 38 boxes, the very first and only day that they did this, they did $299 in absolutely perfect Mint State 70, uh, a Mint State 70 condition. The rarity, the collectability, the long-term collectability of that is virtually unprecedented. I'm just telling you, if you buy a single coin from this show tonight, make it be that coin. Yeah, and-, and Okay, and, I say buy them all, but if you had to pick, that one. Oh wow that's that's yeah, that's huge it's that it's that big of a deal okay speaking of a big deal <gasps> oh, <my>. <laughs> it's <laughs> back. Now, of course, you're only five foot one right Shannon <laughs> yeah right <laughs> hey uh, I don't know if we can show a quantity left or, or not but these never make the allocated time that we've we've scheduled uh. for them they are they are it is the famous wall of coins uh, like I said I've known Mike for almost three decades and Mike there was a time long gone where every coin show whether it's me or Suzanne or you know any of the hosts who have the privilege of working with you are like did you get the wall of coins I mean we and we used to be able to do them you know 
I think certainly in more shows than not, you know, want to show give or take because you don't you're not on the air that often, which is also a point to make because uh, most most of your coin collectors actually watch your presentations on dot com. And I think uh, once more, much like Andrew Lessman, I, I think you get as many or more um, purchases off air as when you are on the air because people listen and learn. All right, let's do some schooling. The famous wall of all coins, coins, right? Well, and you're, you're, you're right. I, I gotta show you something. So this is my cheat sheet of all the coins that are on there, oh, okay, man. in terms of value. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is crazy. That's what you're gonna get right there. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, the proof sets that you see right here, the big proof sets, right? The big proof sets. That is, has been for 25 years, the absolute best-selling thing that we've ever had on HSN and anywhere else, anytime else. This is the thing. Everybody wants proof sets. These are all sold out, limited edition proof sets. It's a huge run of these proof sets. Here's the problem. They basically, they don't exist anymore. Yeah. Understand, they can't go back and make them. And people are holding on to these. Something that we used to be able to get every single solitary week or month or whatever is now a two time. I haven't sold this this year. <clears throat> I'm not likely to sell this twice in a year to be able to get enough. There used to be one bad year. So I called the guy. I go, what's the hard year? And he goes, they're all hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't get any of them. Nobody will sell these. So let's start at the very beginning, if, if we may. Okay. So I start this particular a half century. I started in 1960. Okay, in 1960, when you look at these coins right here, those are silver proof sets. Understand, they're not uncirculated. And in 60, 61, 62, and 63... Those are Franklin half dollars, folks. Those are Franklin half dollars. Those are Washington quarters that are solid silver. Those are Roosevelt dimes that are solid silver. And if you can, Shannon, do you mind take that little green thing out there? You got it. I'm going the that other side. That little green here. buck slip is what they call it. It's okay. right up, right behind the 1961. Yep. And it says in that, if you can put that out there so we can read that. Okay. I, I think it's absolutely spectacular. This is one of my favorite things. So we used to buy these little things when I was there. You buy them. We've carefully inspected these before lease if there uh, should appear what may seem to you, idiot collector, <laughs> a defect or a scratch on the coin. This is the mint right in this. It is in no doubt a crease in the polyethylene coated cellophane in which they're in case. We tell you this to save us both unnecessary correspondence. Thank you. That is customer service in 1960. Um, <laughs> oh if, you, if there is what may appear to you a defect or a scratch, please send it back. We'll replace it. We believe you. We think you know what you're doing. But anyway, that's why they did it back then. So just to put this into perspective, so we're going to give you 50 years, 50 years of United States government issue proof sets here. Coin by coin, because those are Franklin half dollars. The 1960 set, like I said, I'm going to the cheat sheet here. $150 coin by coin. The 1961, $156 coin by coin. Well, 1962, 140, 1963, 140, and 1964, 140. One, two, three, four, five, six, $750 for the first five. Oh, wow. Set those little five packages up there with the tan envelopes. Coin by coin, okay. 700 and fifty dollars you get to buy like a coin dealer because these are proof coins understand proof is not a method of manufacture or not a condition but a method of manufacturing these coins are made specially and put into these holders that you see right here <clears throat> they are absolutely positively stunning they are 100 percent original and so what coin dealers do is they break them open they cut them open and they sell the coins individually for 750 dollars instead of, as we have in this set, 24 bucks. $24 a set is what we're charging, wow. all right? $24 a set is what we're charging. So those are the first five sets. If we may, if we can go to the bottom, the bottom row. Okay. Okay, I want to go to the last two years, the 2009. The 2009, coin by coin, because it's got the special penny set, it's got all that, coin by coin, they are $160 coin by coin for the 2009, and the 2008 is $240, 400 plus dollars. So if you take, so this is the key, 
So, and let's focus in on here just for a second in terms of value. You take the first five sets. Right. And the last two sets. Okay. First five sets and the last so two I'm sets. I'm going to do that, Mike. Point right. by point. Okay. You're so. at $1,199.95. Okay. So okay. these two. And, the, and these uh, five. And the bottom row with those two in your hand. Right. Yep. That's $1,200. Oh Everything gosh. in the middle then is in essence no additional cost or charge. Oh, for Everything else sake. in the middle is no additional cost right. or charge. So At the, the end of the yep. day, here's what it comes down to. <clears throat> coin by coin, the entire set is about $3,500. Wow. Is about $3,500. So I'll get back to value in a minute. I want to talk about the coins that it contains because that's really the key. So remember, these are proof coins. Not a single solitary one of these coins was ever made, intended, or released into circulation. They are only available in these sets. From 1968 in that series through today, they're made at the San Francisco Mint. The 1960s to 1964s that you saw there were made at the Philadelphia Mint. <clears throat> they only come in these sets. So if you want a San Francisco, so people say, well, who buys these individuals? Well, if you collect Kennedy half dollars, the only way to get an estimated proof Kennedy half dollars to take one of these sets, break them open and take that out. Right. It's the only way to get them. That's why the Kennedy half dollars, coin by coin, are $1,200. Just the Kennedy half dollars. Just the quarters, $800. The dollars in this set, $450. Uh, uh, the, the pennies are over $400. The dimes are $400. The nickels are $300. Coin by coin, by coin, almost $3,500. Now, oh that's coin by coin, but you're not buying them coin by coin. You are buying them in the original government packaging, each and every set, just like it was made from the United States Mint, so that they are 100% in original condition. So that's the key to value. How about that? These are the proof coins. Remember, none of these coins released into circulation. The entire state quarter program all 56 coins are contained within this. The first 10 years of the Sacagawea Golden Dollar, okay? The first 45 years of proof Kennedy half dollars are contained within this collection, are contained within this collection. All of the Lincoln cents for a half a century in proof estimate condition are contained within this. If it's possible, Shannon, yep. let's take a look at the bottom there, if we may. Okay, the bo this Where all the boxes are. If we go all the way on the floor, are there boxes all oh, the way oh, down yeah, at the yeah, bottom? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Check that out. All, they all come with the original boxes. I know Isn't it doesn't crazy? seem like a big deal. <laughs> Pick up it. Uh, that box is 25 years old. It's cardboard. Yeah. It's hard to get those. Okay. All of the sets that come in boxes come with the original boxes as well. Wow. It's like going back and adding. It's like going back in a numismatic time capsule. Right. And buying all these sets because every one of them is a long sold out limited edition. To get every single one of these and all of a sudden overnight you are a serious complete 100% certified coin collector because you have got all of the proof sets made by the United States government from 1960 through 2009. Every one of them sold out limited editions. Now here's the deal, $24 a set. You know what the current United States government issue proof set's gonna cost you? What? 40 bucks. Oh, wow. The current year of issue is gonna cost you $40. You are basically getting 50 sold out limited edition proof sets, 67% off their coin by coin value, for about half of what you'd pay for the 2022. Oh, wow. For about half of what you'd pay for the 2022 United States government issue proof set. I mean, that's, that's what you get this. So what do you get, and this is why they're so difficult, and this is why we don't have any, and this is why it's such a big deal, is the fact that you cannot get these. There's no place you can go to just get the set right. except here. Because I have literally have a team of people. There's a huge show this weekend, okay? There's a huge show this weekend. I've got nine people at the show with hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash, like cash cash. Wow. That are hunting sets like this. 
that are hunting these little sets, little set here, little set there, so that I can put these together so that I can start. I worked from the beginning of the year until today to put together 12 dozen of these sets. That used to be take me two weeks. Yeah. It now takes me six months. Like I said, what is the hard set? It used to be 2007 was really hard, or the 1976, or the 1975. They are all hard sets. We buy six, we buy eight, we buy 10, we buy 12, and that's it. We just can't get any more. Let's go, for instance, to those red, those red ones up there almost at the top row. See okay. with the red background? Yep. And the reason I want to go there, start at the far end there, because it's got the, ha the silver dollar in it. There's an Eisenhower-proof silver dollar, 1973. Where can you get that coin in that set? The 74. Now when we get to the 75, notice that's a bicentennial coin. There's no bicentennial Eisenhower dollar. The bicentennial didn't sneak up on us. We saw it coming for 200 years. So we started making the coins early. That coin's slightly different than the other one. It's a type one bicentennial. We go next door, there's another bicentennial. But you can tell by the penny in the set, it says 1975. That, and that's the type two bicentennial that you have right there, along with the quarters and the half dollar bicentennial. Then you have the 78. Then you have this, or the 77 and the 78. So if you look at those in terms of the values of those coins, coin by coin, those Eisenhower dollars are $25 a piece, are $25 a piece. You're paying $24 for the set. If you go into those sets in the 90s, the sets in the 90s are absolutely stunningly rare, the green box sets. I used to sell those individually. See those little five with the green?